guys, Matt again, and this is my new kitchen. This is my new garden and stuff. And uh, I've ordered myself a uh, Nerf Rivals Kronos, and it is the first one I have. So um, I've only heard good things about it. I'd love the Deadpool set, but they're US only. So anyway, on to the unboxing. Okay, so here is the culprit. Experience the intensity of Nerf Rival. It has 27 meter per second. Don't know what that is in FPS. Probably around 90. It's accurate, apparently, and it's a Springer, which is all good. Well, it has a bro, and you get five HRs with it. That's what they look like. And that's what the Kronos Phantom Core Rival um, XVIII 500. The 500 meaning it takes five balls. So, uh, yeah, let's crack it open. Um, let's have a quick look on the back, see if there's anything interesting in that. And it's your usual fare. There's the, the red team and blue team, like on my Apollo. Um, except over here, you've got Phantom Core, who are just a side sort of they're they're like a ghost squadron that just appear and they can fight on either team or for themselves or they can be mercenaries anything like that but there's your sort of you, know, you get some flags it's a breech loader with tactical rail and trigger lock five round capacity springer high velocity accurate a little picture of the chronos uh quick Description of Phantom Corps is a group of rogue specialists who may join Team Red or Team Blue today whenever they challenge themselves. Challenge them tomorrow. Nerf rival battles will never be the same. So yeah, they are basically like the Phantom Corps is basically aimed at sort of mercenaries in Red versus Blue games. So um, I'll unbox it and we'll see what we get inside because I can't hold the phone and cut it open at the same time. Back in a sec. Okay, so this is what you get straight out of the box. You get two flags that you can attach with these not desperately strong little tags. You get the Kronos itself, the ever useful or never read instruction manual, and five high impact rounds. Um, loading it is rather simple. I'm gonna try and do this one handed because I'm holding the camera at the same time but there's your little access door and I believe it has to be primed so okay sorry about that it took me a second to just pull the drawer back properly pull the slide back properly but once the slides back it opens up your little door there you breach and once you've got your breech open and you balance it on the flat surface, you get your HIRs and you just feed all five into the internal magazine system. And you close your little door up, push the slide forward to its lock position. Oop, finger in the way. And it will show you on the back that it is primed with the yellow there. That is if you've got a jam and you want to re-rack it, you can just press that and it'll allow the slide to move freely. There's your safety. Just there. On safety catch. Unfortunately, it's not ambi. But there is your safety and it will hopefully stop you from pulling the trigger. Because otherwise I'm going to put a hole through the wall. That's your I am for. No, no, that's it. Trigger is locked. Yeah. Okay, so upward, trigger locked. Uh, down, uh, yeah, down, trigger lock. Up, trigger unlocked. So safety is down. Live is up. And that should... So I just shoot it at the floor. Pop. 
Yep, that works. Perfectly fine. Grand. So there you go. That's the uh, the uh, the Kronos. Um, as usual, you get the lovely Phantom Core design, but unfortunately, only on one side. Thanks again, Hasbro, for half decorating your blasters. There is two tack rails, one there, and four in front of the rear iron sight. But I'm I'm thinking of getting a different prime for this, so it's got a return on the prime. And uh, there's another tack rail, as you can see at the front. It's quite a large ball barrel, and I don't know if you can see it, but just there, there, that little white bit sticking out, there's your hopper system. So, yeah, overall, it is a well-performing blaster. Um, and I paid only £20 for it. And I'll be definitely getting at least one more to uh, mod. Because they have such a huge modding capability. I mean, I might even have a word with Captain Xavier about K26 in one of them. Um, but yeah. There's my review of the Kronos XV III-500. It is a pretty good... I'd say it is the best rival sidearm. Well, probably the only, but... Um, I'll be using my Apollo with a pump kit to turn it into a, a more sort of Artemis style, but with one mag instead of three. Um, because I think the, 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 the Apollo needs a pump grip and a proper stock because in its shape, it's like an old Volvo, it's all blocky. Whereas this is a lot more comfortable and um, easier to prime because it doesn't have that obnoxious hook sticking at the top that you have to pull back. and. But yeah, I was looking to get in a, a pump kit for that. Um, but yeah, those flags are just to indicate which side your mercenaries are joining and you attach with, I believe, these little tags. These little plastic clip things. Yeah. And then they just took onto your bandolier points at the bottom to indicate which, to which side your mercenary is for. So there you go. Overall, I think it's a really good blaster. I paid, I paid a really good price for it and I would definitely get more. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll probably do a little bit of an outro, but that's all for now. Take care, guys.